Field. They're all in now. Racing in the Champions Mile and Floral Pegasus jumped the gates nicely. He doesn't want to lead though. Able One goes forward deeper out. Together with the Duke and Good Bar Bar will race handy to them. Then Casino Prince Floral Pegasus is looking for a sit behind the speed as he advances a length in front of Lingari. Bully Slug at a fairly handy spot on the rails and the insider joy for winner. And Kappel is in a three wide position as they race past the 1200 metres. And Able One is taken to the front by Mick Canan. Draws out by a length and a half on the Duke who enjoys the gun run from here in second. Floral Pegasus third. Then Good Bar Bar getting a bit key in a midfield position. Casino Prince Shade in the outside with Bullish Lock on the rails. A length further back to Lingari from Joy for winner and a length and a half off to Kappel is being shaken up by Marwing at the tail of the field. So Abel One's running it at his, le as, at his leisure here at the 800 metres. Draws out by two lengths on the international mile winner, the Duke. Floral Pegasus sits in third. Bullish Luck looking for his third win in the races. Fourth on the fence. Then the Australian Colt Casino Prince on the outside of the favourite Good Barber. Further back to Lingari joyful winner and Kappel is still being shaken up at the tail of the field as they turn it's Able One swinging the corner a length and a half clear, the Duke has towed him into the race all of the way he's coming off heels now, the Duke Floral Pegasus has asked for the supreme effort a length and a half clear from Good Bar Bar then came Lingari, Able One's going great guns at the 150 he's holding the Duke and Floral Pegasus the joyful winner with a late run it's Able One in front, he's getting tired, he's got it one though and Able One for Mick Canan, Able one, John Moore might have snagged the Quinella. Joyful winners lunged at Floral Pegasus and the Duke. Followed in by Good Barber. Then came Lingari from Capel, Casino Prince, and Bullish Luck couldn't run on and finished at the tail of the field. Well, somewhat of a surprise win in the Champions Mile, number eight, Abel One. Providing John Moore with the Champions Mile for 2007. And it might be a double dip for John Moore. It's a photo for the Miners. And joyful winner, number five, will grab that position. Third's another close go between the Duke and Floral Pegasus. Number eight, Abel One. Mick Canan has completely controlled the race in the lead. They couldn't catch him. He was getting a little bit tired, but the race was in the bag at that point. Well, that's been a training performance by John Moore. Abel One making the running, and they couldn't pick him up. Scenario, let's have a look at the head-on here. The winner jumped from barrier number seven, and uh, quickly Mick Canane was able to take him forward. He is a horse that does race very keenly, and he was able to get across to the lead quite easily without burning any petrol at all. Good Barber coming through on the rail. You can see the Duke in the blue and the white colours, but Abel One has been able to cross... Uh, with relative ease. Floral Pegasus is facing the breeze, the Duke, and Good Bar Bar is getting up on the steel behind them. You can see that Kappel had to shift wide there. Uh, Lingari also over racing a fraction. Joyful winners back almost last, and uh, the last year winner, Bullish Luck, is three back the inside. Well, this is where he starts to rate Abel One, Mick Canane. I'm sure by now he's probably thinking, is someone going to come up and apply some pressure? The longer I can stay here and not see a horse, the more chance I've got of winning this race. And by this stage, he's at a vital point where he can start to pick up the tempo with the lack of pace that's been injected. And that's what he does. The Duke's within a couple of lengths, then Floral Pegasus. Casino Prince has caught a little wide as they come to the turn, but his jockey's trying to take closer order. Joyful winner's back second last. They turn in. He's got this fully stoked up now, Mick Canane, and it's simply a dash to the wire in the Champions Mile. And Able One, hard up against the rail, has still got that two-length margin over the Duke who tries hard with Floral Pegasus. Lingari out wide and Kappel's the widest runner. Here's Joyful Winner now coming between Good Bar Bar and Floral Pegasus and he finishes best clearly of the others but Able One has pinched it under a great ride by Mick Canane.